Do you have what it takes to become a successful Amazon seller? I want to touch on the bare minimum that it requires both physically and mentally to get into the Amazon game and become a successful seller. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Steff. This mini series is all about Amazon Australia, the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm a seven figure Amazon seller and I'm currently here to help and educate you on how you can get into the Amazon game and start making money online. So today I want to talk to you about what you need to begin with to start your journey and what you may need to work on to become a successful seller. So let's start with the physical things, the basic items you need to get started on Amazon Australia. So I guess it's obvious, but if you don't have a laptop or a computer, you're going to need one. You pretty much use your laptop for everything in the Amazon game. You're looking through data, you need data analysis tools, you want to have Google Chrome extensions, you want to have the ability to sign in and sign out of your login in your Seller Central account. All this is very hard to do and is not possible to create an Amazon brand with your phone. So you're going to have to get a laptop. Now on the back of that, once you have a laptop, I mentioned the phone. The phone is very important too. Now everyone kind of has a phone these days. And why I say it's important, because sometimes you have issues, sometimes you have problems, you want to call seller support, you want to call trademark support, you want to actually speak to someone in person. And to get these problems fixed, it's a lot easier to get it fixed with a phone call than it is to be sending emails back and forth. At the end of the day, time is money and we want to save as much time as possible. And sometimes a phone call is the quickest way to fix a problem. On the back of that, phones are really good quality and they have really good photos and you can take good pictures, which is really important for your Amazon listing. A lot of the listing photos we sometimes take to begin with are just with our phone and then we get them edited. We use Fiverr, we get someone to touch them up and make them look a little bit better. So if you don't have a camera on your phone or your phone camera is no good, the third important thing is to potentially have a camera. Now, a camera can be really useful going forward. You can get high quality pictures that you can then use in your listing. You can get videos. But one thing I stress about is that if you get a camera, make sure that you can easily link it to your laptop or easily link it to wherever you want to send the images. Because in the past, I've had one and it's been an absolute pain in the ass and I sit there spending more time working out how to try to work the camera and get all the high quality photos than it is just to plug something in. So if you've got something you can just plug in and bam, pull all the images off straight onto your laptop, straight onto your hard drive, that's the best option. So these are the three main physical items I believe you need to get started on Amazon. But now I want to touch on the, the five characteristics that I think are very important and that create a successful Amazon seller and the ones that you might need to work on to get to that next level. So let's start with number one. You need to be motivated. You need to be willing to get up every day and do the work. To become a successful Amazon seller, you need to learn all the steps, all the process, and all the strategies to get everything right. You can sell whatever you want, but to be successful, you have to have the best offer. You have to have the best listing. You have to be switched on. You have to be able to make adjustments. And for that, you have to be motivated. You have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to put the effort in. If you think this is an overnight business, that you're just going to throw some money at the door and away you go. That is not how this works. It is a real business and it can give you financial freedom. It can give you a new career, but you have to put the effort in. And if you put the effort in, you will succeed. Let's go on to number two, creativity. Now, I'm not saying you need to be the most creative person in the world, but it's important that you have a little bit of flair, a little bit of thinking outside the box. So I just mentioned about creating the best offer, creating the best listing. To do that, you need to be a bit creative. Now, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to see opportunities. You have to see, okay, that product over there is doing really well. How can I make that better? You need to be a little bit creative and being like, I could do this, I could do that, I could add this, I could change that. And that is a creative enough to give you an edge on the competition. Now, when it comes to listing and optimizing photos and images, like I said before, if you can get some photos, you can send them off to a designer, a guy on Fiverr or someone like that. You can outsource them and let them be creative. But then you also have to have some ideas. You need to get, tell them what you want. You'd be like, okay, I want to have an infographic with this, 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 and this. And you give them a, like a document, you give them a draft of what you want, and then you let them be creative on top of that. So you do need a little bit of creativity to be successful in this industry. If you don't have any creativity, I beg to differ. Everyone has a little bit of something in them. You just got to work out a way to find it and then work out how to implement that 
on Amazon, Amazon listings and product discovery and how you're gonna find the best idea and the best offer. So let's go into number three. This is one of my favorite, resilience. Now resilience is needed as an Amazon seller. If you're like me, when I started, I didn't own a laptop and I was learning Amazon and learning computers pretty much for the first time. I was very basic when it came to using laptops and using softwares. I had to learn things myself. I watched a lot of YouTube, I did a few courses and I actually learned how to do everything and now I'm a successful Amazon seller. But I needed to have resilience and so do you. There's gonna be times that are tough. There's gonna be things that don't work. There's gonna be things that just don't click and you just think you wanna stop and give up. You can't. The ones that are successful are the people that push through these harder times. The people that push through and are resilient. There's things like Amazon seller support that bam, can literally be the worst thing to deal with. But that's okay. You just keep working through that. You have to just keep putting the time in and you just look at it and you go, this is all part of my learning. This is all part of my journey. And if I continue to be resilient, I'm gonna get the results. And from this, results build success. All right, so let's get into number four, patience. Now this sounds a little bit silly, but I actually believe patience is very important in the Amazon game. So this is more so, I guess, once you've got a product out there. Now, you need to be patient. You need to get results. You need to get data. You need to accumulate numbers and then you can make decisions. One of the biggest mistakes new sellers make is they're not patient enough. They create this beautiful listing and it's not doing as well. And instead of just changing one aspect at a time, they just reinvent the whole thing. They change the hero shot, the photos, the dot points, the title. They change everything. Now there may have only been something wrong with the title or there may have just been the hero shot or maybe your dot points just weren't lining up or your infographics weren't really in the right order. What you need to do is you need to be patient. You need to be changing things at a slower pace to, to see what works and what doesn't work. You're never gonna know what was failing if you change everything at once. So patience is a really interesting one, but I believe it's a big characteristic. It's very important. And especially when you start going more into PPC. PPC is paid per click. This is advertising within Amazon's platform. You need to get data on the keywords before you start cutting them out. Otherwise, you never know whether or not that keyword was gonna perform or if it just had a bad week. So patience is very important to become a successful Amazon seller. Number five, my final point, and I think this is very important and a very important characteristic, being a risk taker. Now, this is one that I talk about and I think this is easily one of the most important characteristics. It doesn't mean that you're stupid and going all in something that haven't done the research. You still need to make proven data back decisions, but I speak to this with my students all the time. You need to pull that trigger. You need to take risks. A lot of people get stuck in analysis paralysis and they're just worried that maybe they haven't got the right product. Maybe they haven't got the best listing. You need to still pull the trigger. You're not gonna get any further on your Amazon journey if you're not willing to take a loss, willing to take a risk, willing to put yourself out there. Once you put your first product out there, once you launch your first product, you're at the next level. Only the top 1% of people actually ever get to that stage. They give up, they're not resilient, they get lost, they get distracted. They don't put, they're not motivated enough. A lot of the characteristics I spoke about before, they lack in and they're not there to learn. They don't want to improve themselves and they don't get to this stage. But being a risk taker and risking everything, risking your ideas, risking your beliefs, even going down right now by watching these YouTube videos, you're risking it. You're doing something that's different. You're interested in something that's different to the nine to five. You want better. You're already taking risks by taking the learnings and trying to learn more so you can then implement these things. So congratulations already for taking risks. But as an Amazon seller, it never gets any easier. Every time you launch a new product, you need to pay the money and it's a risk. You always worry. There's never a good time to launch a product. It's always now. Now is the time. There's never gonna feel the perfect moment. You're always gonna have that butterflies in your chest. You're always gonna be like, oh, I'm not sure. But you need to step up to the plate. You need to take that risk and you're gonna learn regardless of if you win or lose, you will learn. So you need to remember, you need to take risks. Now these are the bare minimum requirements you need as an Amazon seller. Now, if you don't have these physical items, I suggest you start saving up to get them. And if you don't have these characteristics, I suggest you start working on yourself and work out how you can get these characteristics or grow these characteristics as a person so you can then be a successful Amazon seller. 
because believe me, they are very important. Now, when I started Amazon, I started as a side hustle and I've been able to create a full career over. I now have four team members, we sell products and we teach people how to sell. And if you wanna learn more about what we do in the academy, make sure to reach out my socials below and I can speak to you and, and educate you and tell you exactly what we offer. But for now today, if you've enjoyed this video, as you know, make sure to like the video so it gets out to more people. Subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with every single other video I drop that's gonna help you on your Amazon journey. I'm Chris Steph, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.